So, that went well. Every other vampire turns it on. No problem. You kill, you feed, you do all the awful things that a vampire does, and then when you're done, you turn it back on. Why is she being so stubborn? Because she has nothing to come back to. Her home's gone, her family's gone. She alienated her friends, she destroyed her relationships. No, she wants to come back. Scaring the hell out of her sure worked. She's smart. She knows we're not gonna hurt her. All right, so we get somebody else. Somebody who really will hurt her. Who? Catherine? Think about it. She's the reason Jeremy's dead, right? So if anybody's gonna provoke an emotion, it's her. So we call her and then what? Beg her to help us out of the kindness of her own heart? You kidding me? Catherine was just abandoned by Elijah. She has nothing. She has no one. We invite her into our house to come torture Elena? There's no way she's gonna turn that down. So let me give you some advice. Take advantage of what I'm offering you. Make something of yourself. For the record, anyone who leaves you behind is a fool. I wouldn't. What a beautiful sentiment. Seriously? You can't knock? Sorry, I didn't realize we were standing on formalities. What the hell are you doing here? You didn't get the memo? I'm here to talk some sense into poor, emotionless Elena. Are you out of your mind? You got a better idea, Prom King? Unless you want me to lock you up in there with her. I suggest you shut up. Let the adults handle this. Well, it looks like the lunatics have taken over the asylum. Where are you going? I'm calling Caroline. There's no way we're letting that psycho in there with Elena. Oh, honey, you look awful. <laughs> What the hell are you doing here? Your boyfriend's invited me. They want to know if you still have a heart. There it is. Your bodyguards won't let me kill you, but I can rip your throat out so I don't have to listen to you whine. But first, satisfy my curiosity. What did you tell Elijah back in Willoughby? That's why you're here. He dumped you, didn't he? Now oh, you're just looking for a scapegoat. Tell me what you said to turn him against me, or I will feed you your own eyeballs. I didn't have to say anything. Look at you, self-obsessed egomaniac. On the run for five centuries, what good would you be to anyone? Is the definition of damaged goods. No wonder Elisha left you. You have done some pretty horrible things to survive, but unlike you, poor, <laughs> delicate Elena, I don't turn it off. I deal with it. You wouldn't last a week as a vampire without everyone fawning over you. Pain and torture have worked up quite a thirst. It couldn't have anything to do with the fact that Elena called you out in your recent boy trouble, could it? Sorry, I couldn't help it over here. Did you ever think Elena would have been better off if she'd never met you? You trying to get a rise out of me? Because my emotions are fine. I love Elena. I despise you. Oh, so romantic. So doomed to fail. You know. As soon as she goes back to her old self, she'll go straight to Stefan. That's the tragedy of you. You never get the girl. She's gone. What? Elena's not herself. I'm gonna check the grounds, find out what she did. Oops. Did I forget to lock her in? Let's just say I've lost interest in Elena's recovery. I'd rather watch her tear through an orphanage. <laughs> Imagine trying to come back from a spiral like that.